A lot of people are under the mistaken impression that if you're a guest or patron at a casino or hotel, that you can't be trespassed. And we see a lot of cases where we have a client that maybe spent a lot of money at the casino, maybe lost thousands of dollars uh, gambling at the casino, uh, was served a lot of alcohol by the casino and finds themselves in a situation where they're intoxicated and they've lost all their money and they're a, they're a little bit aggravated or chippy and then the casino employee comes or the security comes and says, okay, you gotta go. And they get very self-righteous because they feel like, hey, I'm a customer, I've spent my money here, I'm a guest at your hotel, how can you uh, make me leave? And the answer, unfortunately, under Nevada law is that they can and if you're asked by a casino employee or a security officer to leave and you refused, you can be arrested and charged with trespassing. It's important that you are aware if you've been trespassed from a casino that there may be a set period of time for which you are not permitted back at the casino. Most commonly, the security will tell you how long that ban lasts or if it's a permanent ban, you can obtain counsel who can then contact the legal department of the casino to ask if they will rescind the trespass order and allow you to re-enter the casino. If you enter the casino while the trespass order is in effect, you could be prosecuted for trespassing. Although most prosecutors will only prosecute if you come back within one year, there's no guarantee that you wouldn't be prosecuted even if more than a year had transpired before the trespass order. It's also important to note that if you get trespassed from a casino, for example, if you were at the Monte Carlo, which is owned by MGM, that trespass order would affect all MGM properties. So you could not legally go to Mandalay Bay, you couldn't go to the MGM casino, um, and it's really important to understand that the trespass does not just include the specific property where your conduct may have occurred, but it may in fact include all properties owned by the company that owns the casino where you're trespassed.